Hello everyone. It's James again. And before I start today's video. I just want to quickly say. All work in this video contains 100% original content of and by myself James Smith, otherwise known as Bigood4000, and was uniquely created with normal software, by myself James Smith. As I purchased commercial rights from Normal to produce my unique and original video with this software. Commentary is uniquely my own thoughts, feelings, and expressions. Now that I have that out of the way. I do hope your day is going way better than fantastic and your journey to self-betterment is going way better than fantastic as well. Today I wanted to talk about another skill that I think most people in the world should learn how to develop. Because if they learn how to develop this skill. It will save them I believe. A lot of time and a lot of heartache. And that's being completely prepared for the pullback or devaluation that can happen towards the first three months. Six months. Or a year of knowing someone. Or dating someone. Yes. Time frames can vary. However. This is typically what we see in the love bombing stage. And I will go a step further. It might not even be what we call overt love bombing. Where they are calling you literally all of the time. They are buying you things. Taking you places. And wanting to be a part of everything you do. I mean they show interests in literally everything you do. But sometimes it doesn't go like that. Sometimes things are that over the top. Sometimes things are just going really good. You speak a few times a week. You get together on the weekends or maybe also once during the work week. And you enjoy your time with them. And they seem to enjoy their time with you. Then out of nowhere. Either one of two things happen. Either they get mad at you for something that literally makes no sense at all. Or. They act like they aren't so into you anymore. Both behaviors are designed for the same outcome. And that outcome is to get you to lose your sense of what is really happening. And to get you to attempt to chase and get them to go back to treating you the way they once did. Now are there other reasons why this might happen? Sure. Possibly they might have a legit mental illness that you might not be aware about that could change their personality drastically and you are first hand witnessing it. Or they could have had a family issue happen to them. But here's the thing. In both of those instances it's up to the other person to communicate what is happening and why. And to not use it as an excuse for bad behavior. And for treating you poorly. Because we are living in a time where it's all about me 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 in a very selfish mean way is the current trend. Now it's okay and even required per the Bible to love yourself. But after you love yourself you are supposed to love your neighbor. That means don't go around treating people poorly just because you feel like it or you had a bad day. Or because you had some sort of hardship. And if some sort of hardship happened. You can let the other person know. Hey. I'm sorry I have been distant. I have some family things going on right now that I don't feel comfortable talking about at the moment. But be respectful of people's time and people's feelings. And people can do that by using their words as some would say. And it doesn't even have to be a lot. But just simply explain something is going on. And then the second thing is don't mistreat others. Very simple stuff right? Well. There are some that don't understand this fact. And that isn't your problem. But even worse there are those that don't. Have anything bad going on in their life. And they like to treat people poorly just to see their reaction. They enjoy to watch people get their hopes up. And then they take the wind out of their sails. These are people that flat out enjoy being cruel to others. And one of the worst ways of doing this is spending months pretending to have interest in someone. And then taking that interest away. Because you see it triggers something in most people. Even people that haven't had an experience with a narcissist as of yet. You see. When we invest our time and feelings into someone else. And we feel like those feelings are being reciprocated. It's like hitting the jackpot. But when that jackpot has been taken away before we can cash in. 
a great many people will try their luck at the metaphoric slot machine to see if they can get that jackpot to come back up again. Why? Because of the investment of time and feelings and emotions. Our mind starts wondering. What did I do wrong? Did I say something? Did I do something? What happened? And then we start trying to figure out all the possibilities of what could have happened. And this thrills the narcissist or toxic person. But this is what I say. In today's world. Do not be shocked when this happens. Don't be. This is not to say. Don't go out and enjoy life. No. Please go out and enjoy life and meet people. Because though we are living in some pretty bad times. There are still some people out there that can love and that legitimately want love. The problem is the devil has mudded the waters so bad. And has made narcissism mainstream and seen as good. Instead of love and decency seen as good. There are now videos coming out of women saying that they broke up with or divorced their husband simply because he wasn't making the amount of money they wanted him to make. In richer or poorer huh? And I use this as an example as we know we have both female and male narcissists roaming around. But I give that example to show. There are some people out there that have no love in their heart. They can literally leave someone that cares about them and that is doing their best. All to go with someone that is so called rich. And then two months later this rich person dumps them and moves on to someone else. This is the world of pain and sorrow that we are in. But with that being said. There are people out there that see the value in themselves and they also see the value in others. And the only way to end up with such a person is to sidestep those that are playing games and or don't have the emotional intelligence to communicate what is really happening. So don't get shocked anymore when this happens. Or if it happens. Instead take a step back. Take a step back and realize this is a them problem not a you problem. If someone picks a random fight with you out of the blue. I don't care if it's two months in or two years in. This person is showing you who they are and that relationship should be over right. Then and there. Sure. Possibly play dumb so you can slowly back away from them. But you would be best served if you never see this person again. If they start pulling away from you. You can politely ask them about it once. And if you seem to get nowhere with things. Don't waste time. Move on. I think narcissists would have less of a leg to stand on if the average person realized these very things we are talking about today. And the average person would have a skill to set themselves up for success. You see. When you get tied up worrying about this person no longer wanting you. Or mistreating you. It can lead to all kinds of depressive feelings and emotions. To where one day. You feel great. You have this wonderful person in your life. And now they act like they don't care. Or they are fighting with you. Now though you do have to be happy alone first. And I think that is so important. But. But we do know when someone loves us. It gives us a surge of energy where we can accomplish many things. Which is a reason why I believe those that run things in society want to keep you and others from having solid relationships. They don't want you to have that thing that wants to keep you going and motivated to do better. Because they know. When someone has the love of someone else behind them. They tend to try harder at life and other things. So. They have done what they can to take it away at nearly every avenue of life. So when we meet someone that seems like they care. Oh boy. It's an awesome feeling. It feels great. And it might be great. It might be. But it also might not be as well. So don't be shocked when it happens. Don't be. Take a step back. Understand their behavior is not your fault. And look. We all say or do some dumb things when we are getting to know someone because we are nervous. But just like we've talked about before. If you had a bad day. Are you going to treat some poorly? No right. Well the same can be said. If someone might be a little nervous and maybe they do or say a few harmless. Things that might be a little odd. We might keep it in our minds. 
but we don't get rid of someone for such a reason. Or fight with them for such a reason. I say all of that to say. No one is perfect. And though you might not be perfect in your dealings with this person. You likely didn't do anything so wrong to warrant this horrible treatment. No matter if it's them fighting with you. Or them pulling away from you. So don't be shocked. Don't be shocked. Slow things down. Value yourself. And you pull back as well from them. Move on and live your life. And you don't owe them an explanation if they come crawling back. They didn't give you one. Say whatever is safest for you to say and keep moving forward. Value yourself. Love yourself. And be good to yourself. Be good to yourself. With that being said. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.